Okay, I'm walking with Phil back to the RV, and I just found out that he is a rock and roll legend. Okay, <laughs> no, rock and roll. No, no, I asked him what kind of music, and he said it was hard rock. Yeah, hard not rock. Not no soft rock, right? It wasn't. <laughs> hard rock. This guy's a rock and roller. Yeah. Where's the RV at? Oh, it's out there. Oh, then why did we walk this way? Well, I don't know. Well, you, don't, you don't know. <laughs> okay, no. we got to go find the I'm RV. here with Phil. He you was know, signed to the Rolling Stone label, label yes. when you were only 17? Uh, 18. 18. In 71. Oh my god. Yes. Yeah, I have I a picture I can show you. Okay, now, what are you saying? You were, you were too young? It was just too much? What's the deal with Okay, you? I'll tell you what happened. At that time, when you're so young and get signed, you don't realize what you're dealing with. Your child and the way they were disorganized themselves. Everything was so disorganized. We didn't know exactly where it was going. And well, I don't know if I can say that, but at that time there was a lot of drinking and other stuff. A little okay. drinking, yeah, I know. And so, so when you get, we were on stage, we play outdoor concerts. But over there, 18 years, you're, you're 18 years old. There's a, 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 a like a punch bowl. It was like rum and stuff. Oh my oh, yeah, god. Yeah, yeah. And you sitting for two, three hours by the time you get bored, you get on stage, you, you like so. Every, everything was like that on that time. Oh my god. Oh, so yeah. You're going to tell us all kinds of stories. And so.